Now let's talk about AWS Systems Manager, also called SSM. So SSM helps you manage your fleet of EC2 instances and on-premises systems at scale. And yet again, it is a way to manage both on-premises and AWS. So therefore, it is called a hybrid AWS service. SSM allows you to do a ton of things. It is quite complicated, but the idea is that it's a systems manager, so you can get operational insights about the state of your infrastructure, and you also get access to a suite of 10 plus products. You don't need to know all the products going into the exam, but the most important products and features are that you can do automated patching of all your servers and instances for enhanced compliance. You can also run a command across your entire fleet of server directly from SSM, and you can store parameter configuration with the SSM parameter store. Finally, SSM is nice because it works both for your Windows servers and your Linux servers. So from an exam perspective, anytime you see a way to patch your fleet of EC2 instances or on-premises servers, you have to think about SSM, or if you want to run a command consistently across all your servers, again, SSM would be the right way. Now, how does SSM work? Just to give you a better idea. So SSM service works on its own, but you need to first install the SSM agent onto the systems we control. And that is a small program that will be running in the background. By default, if you use Amazon Linux AMI or some Ubuntu AMI on AWS, it will be installed by default. So if we look at our EC2 instances and on-premise virtual machines, we first have to install the SSM agent on all of these. And the SSM agent will be reporting back to the SSM service in AWS. As you can see, it is linked to both EC2 instances and on-premises VM, so this makes it a hybrid service. Now, if an instance cannot be controlled by SSM, it's only probably an issue with the agent. And now that the agent is installed on both our services, our servers and our EC2 instances, then we can use the SSM service to run commands across all these servers or we can patch them all at once, or we can configure them consistently using the SSM service. So if you remember this, you're good to go for the exam. Again, SSM is an advanced service, so I won't do the hands-on on it. But from an exam perspective, you should be good to go. So I hope you like this lecture, and I will see you in the next lecture.